When one woman got a surprise phone call saying she made a mistake on her taxes and might go to jail, it didn't sound like the real deal. As Jennifer Lukey shows us, it wasn't even close. Juliet Tamori got a call recently from a phone number she didn't recognize. It showed up on my cell phone as Washington, D.C. The man on the other end of the line claimed he was from the IRS and told her she'd made errors on her tax returns and owed the government a lot of cash. He said, we're going to show up to your place of employment or your residence, what would you prefer? He said, well, we are coming there with the authorities um, to show you the discrepancy, and when we show it to you, we're going to arrest you on the spot. Thinking it was a scam, Juliet played along with the caller a bit, offering to send money to satisfy the alleged debt. But he didn't want it. At one point, I was on the phone with him, having him on speaker and texting my IRS guy at the same, or my tax guy, um, what is happening? I'm getting arrested. Like, at one point, I really started to believe it when he wouldn't take money from me. He still insisted he was coming with the cops and rattled off an address. Now, that's my father's restaurant, not my home. So I know that my phone bill goes to my dad's restaurant. So I was like, he, they must have traced my phone bill address. Exactly. So what's the gain here for the scammer? Juliet asked her tax man. And I said, well, why would he do this if he's not taking my money? And he said a couple of things. He said, first of all, they see um, how scared you are in your engagement. So if you really, really believe it, they might take, try to take your money right away. But if they question how engaged you are and how much you believe it, they'll tell you that they're going to show up to your house in an hour. And then within 45 minutes, they'll call you back and say that they're too overwhelmed, there's too much going on, that they have too many cases. So if, if they're allowing you to pay if you want. Just a bogus attempt at intimidation. I have no problem with my taxes, so why was I so nervous about it? You know, like somebody that doesn't know the process, yeah, they might believe it. And end up getting taken. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey.